welcome back to another episode of Wee TV. Boop, boop, boop. We are so excited for today. If you haven't met me before, my name is Chloe. Um, so stay tuned for all the fun things that are going to happen in today's episode. We have got share time, some more joke book stuff and story and worship. I am so excited. So I hope you all enjoy. Bye. Guess what, Molly? What? It's joke book time. What? No way, it's so cool. Yeah, gee! Woo! Hello, Wee TV. Um, Rachel Crawford was asking me to tell you a joke. It's about oceans. How does oceans say hello together? By waving. How do you make an octopus laugh? By giving ten tickles! Share time! Hello WeTV, it's Rachel and it's my favourite time of the week, it's share time. I really, really miss seeing you guys in church and hearing your shares. Um, so why don't you let us know what God is doing in your life? You can send us a message on Facebook or an email to share at rehope.co.uk and let us know what you've been praying for. Let us know what you've been reading in the Bible. We love to hear it and we love to hear your news as well. You can take a minute just to pause the video now and talk about what God is doing in your life. Amazing. So this month in church, we have been having something called Prayer Month. And as part of Prayer Month, we have been looking at different Psalms in the Bible. So Psalms are really just a group of songs that are in the Bible and written by a guy called David. And some of them are really, really cool. So here's something that I was reading this week. This is Psalm 103. It's called Bless the Lord, O My Soul. And in verses 11 and 12, it says, For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfast love towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. So there's a few tricky words in that, but really what it means is, is as high as the heavens are above the earth. So as high as you could ever, ever think, God loves us even more than that, which just blows my mind. So, so cool. And then it says, as far as the east is from the west, so the east is from the west, west, east, east, west, unsure. As far as you could ever think, God has removed our sins from us. So it doesn't matter whatever we do because God loves us and he's going to forgive us, which just, again, blows my mind. So that's something that I wanted to share with you guys this week and I hope it's been an encouragement to you. So again, let us know what's going on in your life and we hope to hear from you soon. Hello WeTV and welcome to this week's challenge. It's me, Molly, and by special request from Maxie, Lexi is also here. And today, Lexi, our challenge is a memory challenge. Ooh. Underneath this tea towel, I have hidden a bunch of items. We're going to remove the tea towel. We each have, well, both of us at the same time. We'll have 20 seconds to look at the, tea, uh, at the stuff. And then we'll cover it back up and we have to write down as many of them as we can remember. Okay? That makes sense? And the winner is basically who can write down the most. And if we write down the same amount, then it's a draw. And if we both get all of them, then we both win. But you can't start writing them down until after the tea towel has been placed back over them. Correct. Correct. Okay. Are you ready to have a look at the items under the tea towel? Let's do it. Okay.
say one thing, you say the next big thing, and if we've got it, we can take it off on our list. Okay. Uh, I've got dark chocolate. I just put chocolate. Okay, yep. Yeah. Go for something. Marker. Uh huh. I've put a pink pen. Being okay. specific here. Um, I put a pin. Oh, yep. I put push pin. Yep. I put Molly's glasses. Yes, my glasses are there. Which is good. Um, I put two lots of post its. Yep. <laughs> there was two lots of post it notes. I put a devotional. Yes, Bible study. And um, I put the remote control. Oh, I forgot about that one! Yes! I got one! Okay. I put binder clip. Yes, bulldog clip. Um, I put a coaster. Yep. And what other ones did you get? I put Bible. Bible. So, you missed the remote control. I missed the remote control. Oh, Sell tape! tape! Oh, yeah. Sell tape! <laughs> I knew I was forgetting something else as well. We both forgot the sell tape. <laughs> That's funny. But well done. I won a challenge! <laughs> Guys, I haven't won a challenge against Lexi in like three challenges. This is like... Well done. Thank you. Well done. Congratulations. This is good sportsmanship right here. Congratulations. Thank you. You can stop taking the hand <laughs> uh, So there you go, guys. You can collect um, a bunch of items and hide them under a tea towel and challenge people who you live with to see who has the best memory. Um, but that is all from us here. And you guys have a wonderful rest of the episode. Bye! Worship! Ethan! Ethan! Hi everyone! Have you guys seen Ethan? Because we're ready to start worship and I have no idea where he is. No? Okay, I'll never try this way. Ethan! Ethan! Rachel! Rachel! Where are you, Rachel? Is that you? Hey guys, have you seen where Rachel is? I'm looking for, for some worship. Have you seen her? That way? Okay, I'll try over there. Ethan! 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 Where is he gone? Ethan! Oh, Rachel, I see you! He's behind me! <laughs> hey, Ethan! Hey! Are you ready to start worship? Yes, I was looking for you so we can start some worship. Are awesome. you guys ready to start worship? Yes. If you are ready to start worship, and even if you're not, even if you're in a bad mood, please stand up and sing along with us. Do the actions we are going to do. Dig a little deeper, yes. which is such a classic, awesome Amazing. song. So let's do it. All right. Finger speed, honey. You've got to dig a little deeper. In God's love, you've got to dig a little deeper. In God's love. story today to talk more about kindness which is our theme for February. Our story is all about the Good Samaritan. 
So it begins with a man asking a question to Jesus. He asked Jesus, I know how in the Bible it says, you shall love God with all your heart and soul and strength and mind, and you should love your neighbor as yourself, but who's my neighbor? And Jesus had an answer to that in the form of a story. So there was a Jewish man who was going between two cities in Israel, okay? He was on a journey between two cities, and all of a sudden, he was attacked by a bunch of robbers and stole all that he had, and he was super injured. The man couldn't do anything, and so he was laying on the ground all alone with nothing to help him, and a person walked by. And they walked by, saw him, and kept going. And there was another person that walked by, saw him, and kept going again. How mean is that? Finally, a Samaritan man walked by, and this time the Samaritan man did decide to help. And that is very unusual at the time because a Samaritan was very different than a Jewish person. They both loved God, but they celebrated God in very different ways. And so they were actually, a Samaritan was the last person a Jewish person wanted to hang out with. And that's how it was at the time. The Samaritan didn't let their differences drive them apart, and so decided to help the man who was hurt on the road. And so he bandaged him up, like this is like my bandage. So he fixed him up, and then he put the Jewish person that was injured on his donkey and brought him to an inn, which is like a hotel, um, where he could stay. So this story was told by Jesus to answer, who's your neighbor? And basically he just says, Everybody is your neighbor. Um, you should be kind to absolutely everybody. No exceptions. The moral of the story is be kind to people who are different than you, okay? Also, I really like this picture right here um, that says your kindness is contagious because like instead of spreading um, corona, we should be spreading kindness, okay? We should have contagious kindness. So we're kind to people and then they'll be more kind to people, and then they'll be more kind to people, and it just works out so wonderfully. Okay, so we remember to be kind. I also have a question this week from Martha. So let's hear what you have to say, Martha. Ethan, it's me, Martha. My question for you is, can we still speak in heaven to Jesus? Bye-bye. Great question, Martha. Um, heaven is so interesting. And it really captures, I'm sure it captures all of our imagination, thinking about what's going to happen, you know? So the verse I want to say is from Luke 23, 43, and it says, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. And that is Jesus talking to another man who was on a cross near him when they were both crucified. So he said, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me, Jesus, in paradise. So we're going to be with Jesus. And then another verse, Revelation 21.3, says, Behold, the dwelling or living place of God is with man. He will dwell, live with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. So you could think of that verse as saying, God's home is with us, and our home is with God. That's sort of what it means. And so from that, I would say that, yeah, we will be with Jesus and we'll be living with him. So we probably will be able to speak to him. But yeah, I, I love thinking about heaven too, Martha, and I really appreciate the question. So, all right, I'll pass it on to the next part of WeTV. So see y'all later. Bye. Jobs! Hey everyone, welcome back to Jobs this week. Our crafts are really cool because they're helping us understand how to be kind with people who are different from us. So for, we have two options today. First of all, we have pasta families. Now, this is me making it at the moment. And what it is, is you can get pasta, you can get whatever. It doesn't matter if it's all the same pasta, rice, whatever. And what you're going to do is you're going to make we, we dudes out of them. And you're going to have the dudes saying really nice things to other people that are all different. And that's to help us to realize that we're all different, but we're all equally awesome and we need to be kind to one another. The second thing is a flower. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a flower together 
And inside each petal, what we're going to do is we're going to write a name of our friend or someone we know, and we're going to write something that's special to them. What makes them good? And then we can show them to it or we can keep it to ourselves and remind us that everyone is equal and everyone is um, equally amazing. So that is it. So let, let, let before we get, let's, let's see, what have I written here? Uh, I've written, oh, my friend Mo, he's super smart. Um, Carmen, who's an awesome singer. Cameron, who's really funny. Aaron, who's really good at drumming. But some of your friends could be... Um, One's really good at football, another could be really good at ballet, another one could be really good at making chocolate cookies. I don't know. But that is the two crafts for today. I hope you guys have a really good time. Send us some photos, let's see them. I love to have a look because if I see them, it makes my heart and my just, I feel super happy. So I hope you have an excellent week. Enjoy your crafts, everyone. See ya. Wow, that was so much fun. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. So that is this week's episode finished. But don't worry, we're back next week um, with another episode. So I'm just going to pray to finish us off. Dear God, we thank you for WeTV and we thank you for all the kids that are watching this week. God, we pray as some of the kids go back to school that they would just learn so much and that they would enjoy that. And God, we pray for all those who are still doing homeschool that they are enjoying it. And we pray for the parents that they are having as much fun as the kids, God. We pray for another joy-filled week and we can't wait for next week's episode. Amen. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.